Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! <laughs> oh, yawn. <clears throat> tired old Cappy here. I even got like 11 hours sleep. I don't know why I'm so tired. Uh, hello again, Mr. Clary. Thank you for the video that last pertained to me. Really opened my eyes. Anyway, I wanted to get your consulting on this time was about my future. As I mentioned to you previously, I was looking to major in building construction going into college. However, I do have a passion for science and I've also thought about majoring in physics or engineering. My issue is I do not think I have the ability to succeed in those majors. I did test my IQ and it was 128. Uh, dude, yeah, you got you more than have the ability. I mean, ever so roughly, it's like 110. Look up, look up average IQ by major, and you'll see um, engineers are, you know. <clears throat> well, let's do that. Let's look it up. IQ by major. I don't think they're even 110. I mean, for fuck's sake, the, um, really, really, Bing? Really? And you wonder why people go with fucking Google. IQs by major. <clears throat> oh, to God, fucking age Christ. <clears throat> Let's take a look here. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Chemical and you're right on the money, dude. Chemical engineering, okay, uh, electrical engineering, 126, computer and information science, 124, civil engineering, 124, mechanical engineering, 126, other engineering and chemical engineering, 128. Um, yeah, dude, you're there. You have the ability. Why did I think it was lower than that? Look at the fucking social work, early childhood, student counseling, special ed, home economics, elementary, all like 103 to 108. The fucking retards of college. Literally, like standard deviations less than you. Uh, so you do have the raw ability. And if you also enjoy physics and engineering and the sciences, well, fuck, dude, you, you got a rare, you, you're so lucky to have that because most people don't like that. They're really bored with it, but you aren't. So you are more than capable. I'm also dual enrolled, but take classes at the college full time, four classes or five, because I did not like high school all that much. I took two AP classes my sophomore year, AP, blah, blah, blah. Passed both with three AP classes are bullshit. You don't have to worry about those. Just go straight and taking college classes, although the point is moot now. Uh, bu -bu -bu. The reason I didn't like high school is because it truly kind of did feel like a prison. Yeah, you think? It is a prison. Look how they're designed. They look like happy buildings. All of you come here and sit still and do boring shit. That's the definition of prison. Also, I used to get told that I wasn't black enough because I did well in school and not do the stereotypical mannerisms associated with being black. Yeah, here, I'm going to level with you. Do you want to be that cultural black? Do you want to be the fucking idiot with the grills on his teeth, wearing uh, brand new shoes you paid 300 bucks for and you had to take out a fucking loan to afford that? Do you want your pants down below your ankles? Do you want to have standards of living that are only 70% white? Do you want to have a life expectancy that is a full four years shorter than white males? I, I'm going to get, dude, look, that pisses me off. Here's the book. Go get it, I wrote it. Black man's got out of poverty. Okay, for, you know, there you go. Um, <clears throat> that's, it's all there. I know your entire life may have been in the, well, it doesn't sound like you're in the ghetto, but oh, well, you're not black enough. You're not down with the cause. Fuck the cause. All right, here's the deal. Blacks are dead last place. All right. Do you want, and now this doesn't mean if you're black, you can't be successful. That has nothing to do with it. It's decisions and, 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 and mistakes that people make will get you in this last place, which is somewhat commonly associated with black culture. Of course, I don't know, whatever the, the drug is over in the black community, but uh, similar parallels would be a white person doing meth in Wyoming. We can argue what is black culture versus white trailer trash culture. It doesn't matter. You're making stupid fucking decisions, all right? Um, so it, it, I don't know why this is crabs in the bucket. They're trying to keep you down. Fuck it. Do you want to be like that or do you want to be like Ben Carson? You get to choose. It's your life, man. Don't worry about these people that are jealous and pissed off about you going on and doing better things. You owe nothing to these people. Nothing. 
Just because you have the same color of skin does not mean you owe them any fucking loyalty. I got a whole chapter on tribalism there. You absolutely must read it. And no, I won't give you the book for free. You go pay for that genius that I wrote. Um, <clears throat> anyway, yeah, do not, no. Don't let, don't let losers tell you because of the color of your skin, you got to be as miserable as them and start spitting out kids and dating all these psycho girls you were before. You are an individual. You get to determine your life. And you get to live it however you want. It doesn't matter what your gender is, your sexual preference, or the color of your skin, or your religion. You're an American now, motherfucker, and you get to do what you want to do. So don't, don't fuck this one life up. You don't owe your life to anybody. Uh, I wasn't black enough because I did well in school and not do the stereotypical mannerisms associated with being black. As a senior, I am taking four classes at the community college as part of the dual enrollment pr program. The reason I'm not confident in my skills to be a physics or engineering major is because I currently have college trigonometry and barely have a C. It sounds like you're overloading yourself. Uh, I think you're working too. Um, so I slow down on the other classes. Uh, you're in no rush to get through college, by the way. No rush. Whether you graduate at 22 or 24, it still doesn't matter. All right? No, no one's going to hold you against that, especially if you go into a real, real uh, degree. Uh, so it just makes me feel like I won't be able to survive anything above Calc 1. Um, try your best. Just double down on the trig. See if you can't do it. Take some online tutorial classes. It really, what's statistically likely is you got a shitty teacher. Okay? That's truly what it, it, if you ask me, you get an IQ of 128. And then you're telling me you're having trouble in trig. I'm going to put my money on it's a bad teacher and not you. Because you've proven you're capable of doing it. All right? So uh, just try it again. Maybe you just don't. Trig is different than calc. It's a whole different world. Um, I enjoyed trig, though. But find if, see if you can't find something on, um, what's it called? Khan's Academy or tutorials on trig. You should be able to find it on YouTube and have it explained much clearer, much better. Uh, I will admit I have a bad habit of not spacing out my study time. Well, fuck, buddy, there's your fucking problem. I study, but uh, it could be improved. Well, st <clears throat> I'm glad you paid me money. I hope you you just paid me to tell me your own problem, that you know what your problem is. Besides college trigonometry, my other three classes are U.S. history until 1876, general psychology, American federal government. Honestly, those classes bore me half asleep. Yeah, I know. You got to employ the psychology majors. You got to employ the history majors. And you gotta employ the uh, the American political science page. You gotta you gotta employ all these worthless people. Honestly, I think those are probably draining your brain of all the the uh, excitement and power that it has. So when you get the trig, you're just like, <laughs> um, but yeah, you, there's no other way to get around those. History is just boring, as I'm pretty sure my professor is a feminist because she always has to specifically point out women in. <laughs> Ah, oh, you broads can't shut your yaps, and then, then when you're feminist, what's a, what's a woman? A broad who can't shut her yap. What's a feminist? A broad who can't shut her yap about women. <laughs> My, uh, and government is okay. My professor is interesting, but when he lectures, it's just PowerPoint in a dark room, yeah. Um, <clears throat> all those factors have led me to question if I want to go to college at all. I'm also considering going into the Air Force four years to get the experience. Or Not bad! Not a bad idea. Consider that. Look, let's talk about your liberal arts program or degree or classes. They're boring because the topics aren't boring, but everyone who goes, everyone who's a teacher is somebody who can't do. You just got to understand. The people who can't do in society go and teach. And they suck. Most teachers suck. And it's just boring. They're lazy. See if you can skip class, read out of the book, read through the assignments, and like your first test, see if you can just get an A or a B without having to attend class. Because if you can do that, cool, awesome. That frees up more time for you to go and study your um, <clears throat> your um, trigonometry class. Uh, Air Force, I like too. Also, I'm considering becoming an electrician going to trade school. My grandfather's an electrician in Orlando and he enjoys it. I thought about being an accountant, but after doing research, it does not seem ideal for me. It's boring too. Thought about becoming a doctor, but fought medical school. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Except my ex's friend, who I like. She wants to become a doctor. She's got big boobs, so her patients might feel better after they see her. <laughs> you do have an IQ of 128. Anyway, Mr. Clear, I'd like your input or advice. Should I pursue physics slash engineering or keep going into building construction? 
I'm not worried about paying for colleges. I get enough scholarships because my qualifications stand out, especially as a minority, because they think that we all need a leg up in areas. Yes, I'm taking advantage of the system. Or is the Air Force a good option? Or okay, look. All right, hold it. Here's what I do. I would, if you have a true interest in the Air Force, go and talk to them. Because here's the deal. Watch my video. Nobody's going to take you seriously until you're 35. If you can do a three or four year stint in the military, they're going to pay for everything. And I know you got all this shit paid for, but you'd have food, clothing, all this other shit paid for. You could attend school while you're in the military. Um, you might learn something about yourself like, oh my God, I wanted to be a helicopter pilot, you know, something like that. That's not the worst. Um, you could always join the the reserves or the air, I'm sorry, the Air National Guard kind of part time. You still get some great benefits with that, allowing you to go to school as well. Um, but in terms of what you study now, yes, dude, you got to do engineering because you like it and you just seem kind of meh about everything else. Accounting, no, you don't want to do that. Construction, uh, building construction management, yeah, you can do it. But frankly, dude, you're, you're more skilled and talented than that. And that, I think that'd be a little bit beneath you. Not that there's anything wrong with building construction. I'm just saying, if you like engineering, do that. One thing I will warn about, don't go into physics as a major. Um, it's too theoretical, even if it's applied physics. You want to have a specialized, specific trade, uh, specifically among the engineering fields. So you got to choose between chemical, mechanical, civil, electrical, what other is there? <clears throat> There's some others. For the love of fuck's sake, don't do environmental engineering. It's a bullshit degree. Don't do that. Uh, but among those four or five key ones, let's do it from ground up. Civil is the lowest paying. Mechanical... Then it's electrical, then I think chemistry, and then petroleum. But petroleum engineering is on the way out because of the collapse in the Bakken oil field. Plus, everybody's flooded that field. So I would you know, contemplate yourself, okay, what type of engineering, what type of field do I like? And then I'd take some classes, and that's what I do. could become an engineering major. But realize you're in no rush, okay? So don't rush it if, it, if your grades start to suffer. Um, try and see if you can just, like, skip away or... or you know, like, what was it? Was it Bill Gates? Him and his buddy skipped out of economics the entire time, and they all aced the final because they studied the night before and got an A. I'm not saying to do that, but, like, see if you can just not waste your time attending these classes and then just study on your own and then stop in for quizzes and tests and do that. Um, but uh, you can also stretch the amount of time it takes you to get your degree so you don't not only do better in the school, but maybe, hey, military career ain't the worst. Not the worst at all. Uh, they, they will give you shit to do, actually, and they'll test you, and they'll find out you'll, you'll score off the charts on the ASVAB and um, um, your IQs and all your uh, aptitude tests. And, you know, you might be looking at officer material, and you know that doctor that with the big titties uh, that, that you like? When you come in in a uniform and uh, you're not, you know, Joe Schmo Marcus, you're Lieutenant Marcus or Captain Marcus, she's going to unhinge those titties for you. That's what's going to happen. I, that I prom no, I can't promise. But that I promise will you'll stand a better shot of that being Captain Marcus than you know, Engineer Marcus. If you're a Captain Engineer Marcus, oh yeah, get the stethoscope out and everything, and giggity. Uh, but yes, uh, knowing what I know now, you you definitely should make a run, aim high at engineering, and go talk to a recruiter. Don't let them sell you on it. Just go talk to them, see what the options they got in terms of. Reserve, Air National Guard, and full full bore military. Uh, but yes, you are not going to waste this life uh, worrying about what other people in the ghetto say about you. Uh, you're not going to stick your dick in crazy, and you're not going to worry about trig fucking you up. You're gonna you can do this. So best of luck, toodles.